In 1936, beneath Iraq's sun-scorched soil, a railway worker's shovel strikes something strange, a clay jar sealed with asphalt. Inside, a copper cylinder cradles an iron rod. This unassuming artifact, buried for 2,000 years, would ignite a debate. Was the Baghdad battery the world's first electrical cell? Imagine vinegar seeping into the jar, reacting with iron and copper. A faint current hums, one volt, barely enough to tingle a finger. Wilhelm Koenig, a curator in Baghdad's museum, saw more. He theorized these jars powered electroplating, gilding silver with gold. But where were the gilded treasures? None were found. Decades later, engineers rebuilt it. Lemon juice as electrolyte, wires snaking from iron and copper. Linked in series, 10 jars sparked four volts, enough to electroplate a coin or buzz acupuncture needles. Mythbusters proved it worked, but why did it exist? Skeptics scoffed. The asphalt seal made refilling impractical. No wires or terminals were found. Scrolls, they argued, not currents, filled these jars. Papyrus decayed, leaving acidic traces that mimicked a battery's remains. Yet bronze needles lay nearby. Tools for electrotherapy? Ancient texts hint Mesopotamians used electric fish to numb pain. Did they replicate nature's shocks with this jar? The truth. Lost to time and war. In 2003, looters raided Iraq's museum. The Baghdad battery vanished, its secrets still sealed in asphalt. A relic of genius or a simple vessel? We may never know. Want to delve deeper into history's most captivating mysteries? Click the link in our bio for your chance to win a $750 Amazon gift card and explore more intriguing true stories.